everything saints in the name and the, of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord this morning, this evening? Let me stand to our feet. We're going to welcome him in our presence this evening with song Hallelujah. Jehovah is your
got uh, special guests in our uh, Mr. this evening. We're going to call Sister Rodea. I'm going to do an item and song this evening. Hallelujah. Yeah. Are we excited for the item and song this yeah. evening? Yeah. It's not usual on a Wednesday evening. Right. Hallelujah. You 
We are even grateful, Father. We glorify and we lift you all the name on high. For there is none like you and there will never be. We worship you in beauty of your holiness. We love you. We honor you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. all of you tonight in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. How many are happy to be here tonight? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So we just want to welcome Brother Pascal that came with Sister Mopula from Congo. Uh, my brother, just raise your hand. Let's welcome my brother. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, my brother. Peter Amen. Amen. Shalom. Amen. Please uh, remember me in prayer. I'll be traveling to Namibia tomorrow morning. Uh, the 20 to 11, I'll be boarding to Namibia for the weekend meetings. Uh, there with Pastor Madiba, praise the Lord. Praise we solicit your prayers. Amen. So that the services on the convention can be a blessing. Amen. Remember that Brother Happy Nyalungu will be ministering on Sunday. Amen. So let's give him support. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Make sure that you are there. Amen. Brother Enoch's family, remember that uh, the Brother Enoch is going to be with the Lord. I was preaching there yesterday at the memorial service. So they're having another memorial service tonight. Brother Tina Shimahiri is ministering there. And uh, so it has been quite a hectic schedule for us. Pastor Timothy Mukana was ministering the, the, the Monday uh, evening. And uh, I think maybe Brother Rodwell Kongli will be ministering tomorrow. And then the Friday morning it will be my dad together with Brother Josh Martin. So let's just remember the whole family in prayer. And then so that God can be with the family and comfort them. To those of you that can uh, go to Brother Enoch, I believe to those of you that know Brother Enoch, he has been a way, a blessing to all of us in yes. one way or the other. So if you can, if you, maybe you don't um, uh, make it, just you know, send a message to Sister Lindiwe. Mm -hmm. I'll send uh, the, the, the number of Sister Lindiwe in the group tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. And... Um, <coughs> We, the Chipeta family, have uh, uh, traveled nicely to uh, Malawi. I think by now they should be in Mozambique because they were in Harare last night. They had to go through the Harare route, Mozambique, then Mozambique, then to, to Malawi. Let's remember them in prayer. Praise the name of the Lord that God can be with them. Amen. Don't worry. Uh, you can see our Wednesday services are becoming too packed. This is a sign that we needed a new place. Amen. So the new place is going to be ready by Tuesday. So all is set. Amen. 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 Let's, let's, but we still need your contribution to those of you that can with the chairs and the logistics. Everything needs to make sure that everything is well, it's well set. Praise the name of the Lord. So uh, Brother Jonathan is here as promised. Uh, the man of God is here. Let's Glory. Glory. Raise his wife. Uh, God bless you, my sister. Let's, let's welcome her. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Brother Jonathan is a wonderful singer and musician and a minister of the gospel. So I've been postponing to have him here, but I felt this is the right time for him to come through and be a blessing to us. Amen. And uh, we want to welcome is well, the Adams family. Let's give them a round of applause. to the pastor and, uh, the daughter there uh, the pastor passed on uh, during the COVID times we couldn't come to the funeral service mama but we have been praying for you Amen. and we believe that he's still the balm in Gilead he is the one that mends the broken heart Amen. one blessed consolation is we are going to meet him one morning yesterday to say one day you're going to comb the hair for the last time yeah. and while you're combing your hair then Pastor Adams will come yeah. not in a sick body, not in an elderly body but between the age of 18 and 21 Amen. because we don't want all people on yeah. the other side yeah. praise the name of the Lord yeah. so we love you, we salute you Amen. God bless you, Amen. Amen Amen. we're going to take a song and ask our brother Jonathan to come and preach to what the Lord has laid on his heart is the F Amen. Let's close our eyes and raise our hands. <coughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Mm, through it all, we Okay. Oh, yeah. 
life eternal tonight. Amen. Praise God. Let us just bow our heads and close our eyes for a word of prayer before we approach the word of God tonight. Amen. Almighty God, giver of all good and perfect gifts, we acknowledge you as the head of our lives. We acknowledge you as the author and the finisher of our salvation. It is impossible, Lord God, for man to be saved. But we thank you for that man, Jesus Christ, who has become our propitiation. And Lord, we have been saved from the curse of sin. We've been delivered from that. Tonight, Father, like the Moses of old, we turn to the burning bush. Because we believe the pillar of fire that was there in 1963. Hallelujah. The pillar of fire that was there on that mount is here tonight. Amen. And so, Father, our intellect, we park. We have no thinking coming, your prophecy. Yes. I pray, Heavenly Father God, as I humble myself before you, I would like to echo the words of that great messenger, Malachi 4. Amen. No man can say anything that is worth saying yeah. unless you help him say it. God, I am such a one. I therefore pray, Heavenly Father God, that the meditation of my heart, the words of my mouth be acceptable in your sight. After all, I am dealing with your bride and I am acutely aware of that. I pray a blessing on OSM, Father. Bless, Lord God, him on whom it is allotted to lead this flock. I pray, Almighty God, may the favor of God that is unfair Hallelujah. be their portion. Glory. May it go beyond explanation and logic. My God, my God. God, a blessing upon His ministry, Lord, and that of His assembly, that it would assault common sense. Amen. Through Jesus Christ, who shall we pray. Now, as we turn aside to this great sight, Lord, to behold the beauty of the Lord, Lord Jesus, Use human faculties to express yes, divine Lord. thoughts tonight. Yes, Your people have come here, Lord, at great sacrifice. Mm -hmm. They didn't do that to see a man, Father. Mm -hmm. So tonight I am with them. I, I, I echo the sentiment of their heart. Sirs, we will see Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Manifest yourself tonight, God. Let it be, oh God. I pray, Father, what you, you know what we cannot imagine tonight. Amen. So as your people sit here and their faces and needs differ, we look to thee, O Savior. Thank you, God. For thou art our hope, thou art our foundation, thou art our outcome. Come and have your way tonight, Father God. Give bread to the hungry, 
and give drink to the thirsty. Amen. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, both now and forever. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 6. It is, it is certainly a privilege to be with you at OSM this evening. Amen. Um, my wife and my boys are here with me. Right. And I thank God. Amen. But the Bible says the next best thing after salvation yes. is a good wife. That's right. I have both. Amen. I have salvation and I have a good wife. <laughs> Praise right. the Lord. It is absolutely an honor. And I thank God. Um, Sister Vanessa Murray is practically uh, one of my mothers. Mm. Brother Adam Murray is my wife's uncle. Right. And uh, so we, we family. Mm. And it is an honor to have you with us. Thank you so much, Mom. And Dave, my younger sister, for coming. Mm. Amen. She held back a lot when I passed. Yeah, that's right. right. She did. That's but right. Uh, she'll, she'll fix it. She owes the bride of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 6, if you have it, say amen. 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 Let's read the word of God. We, we read from... Verse 11 up to and including verse 19. Paul says, And we desire that every one of you do the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end, mm. that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Mm. Um, that phrase there, I'd like you to just make a mental note of. He doesn't say by faith. He says through faith. Right. Praise God. That's right. He says in verse 13, is that right? He says now, Amen. for when God made promise for Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself. Yes. Saying, surely blessing I will bless thee. And multiplying I will multiply thee. And so after he, Abraham, had patiently endured, he obtained, he obtained the promise. For men verily swear by the greater, and an oath for confirmation is to them an end of all strife. Mm. Wherein God, willing more abundantly sure. to show unto the heirs of promise, that's you and I, unto the heirs of promise, the immutability of his counsel. He confirmed it by an oath. Amen. That by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie. We, the heirs, might have strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. Which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast. I'd like you to notice how God is constantly backing it up all the time. Mm. He's, he's putting double. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And which entereth that with into that within the veil. Let's just have Hebrews 11 as well before you sit. Sorry. Um, Hebrews 11 verse 1 up to and including verse 11. I'll read a bit faster here. That's just to prove a point, amen, to confirm the word. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, yes. the evidence of things not seen. Yes. For by it, by oh, faith, God. the elders, every one of them who have a good report, yes. obtained it by faith. Amen. 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 Verse 3, here's that mental note I asked you to make. Through faith, mm. not by. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen are not made, made of things which do appear. Mm -hmm. By faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts. And by it being dead, yet speaketh, by faith Enoch was translated. Verse 6, but without faith it is impossible to please him. Let's go to verse 7, by faith Noah. Mm -hmm. Verse 8, by faith Abraham. Come on now. No. <laughs> by faith he sojourned, verse 9, in the land of promise, 
as in a strange country dwelling in tabernacles of Isaac and Jacob and the heirs of them that uh, of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundations whose builder and maker is God. Now when it comes to Sarah, look at the words. Through faith. Also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Amen. May God add to amen, uh, add a blessing to our understanding the reading of his word tonight. May God bless you. You may have the comfort of your seat. Amen. amen. Yes, sir. Now it is, amen, I, I am, it is my greatest joy to belong to Jesus Christ. That's right. And nothing makes me happier than to be in his presence. I'm not saying that to be spiritual, it is the truth. My wife will testify of that. Yeah. She she gave me a testimony past the blessing. Yes. Uh, I I don't know. Sometimes I talk in my sleep. Yeah. All right. All right. So she says one day she got the fright of her life because I was asleep and in my sleep I I made a motion something like this. Mm. <laughs> All right. Um. I I love the presence of God. <laughs> Amen. I, 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 I love the presence of God. Even in my sleep. C.C. Wyland says, From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head down, I'll sing of the goodness of God. Praise God. I want to thank Pastor Blessing. Amen. For inviting us. It is absolutely an honor. Amen. Regards to your wife and family. Uh, it is so good to have friends. There's a story in the Bible of a lame man who had four friends. Get yourself friends that will take you to Jesus. Come on, Amen. 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 I am honored to consider your pastor, my friend. Amen. It is Amen. good to be here. All the lovely faces. Mm. Brother Sipo, I acknowledge you. I have adopted him as my uncle. Mm -hmm. I love him dearly. We have a special bond. I love you, my elder. Thank you for always having a word of um, encouragement and wisdom. I'm just trying to settle my nerves. Yeah. Amen. Uh, I'll be quick. Yeah. If I may, for a title, I'd like to speak about the inability of the omnipotent. Amen. That's right. Come on, brother. Yes, sir. Now, that's an oxymoron. Yeah. Mm. If he's omnipotent, there shouldn't be anything that is regarded an inability to him. Right. So I'm speaking about the inability of the omnipotent. Bring it home. Mm. Amen. May God give to the hungry bread, amen, to sustain until hereafter Amen. we look around and all we see is the fingerprints of satan it's pain suffering yeah. it's corruption theft mm -hmm. it's uh, murder you know i don't know if you heard the story in the news of a woman in, in the eastern cape who killed her own four children mm -hmm. she don't do that by choice she had no hope mm -hmm. this world has no hope <laughs> The only hope we have is in Jesus Christ. Amen. And their problem is that they have already rejected Him. They reject the very appearance of Him. Mm -hmm. uh, and likewise, the Church of God, we have no hope unless it is Jesus That's Christ. Right. Amen. All right. That's why I believe this message. Because the prophet of God says it is a terrible time to live in. And indeed it is. Mm -hmm. But for the elect. Mm -hmm. All right. It is a sign that your Redeemer is on his way. That's right. Look up for your redemption is drawing now. It is the most glorious time to be alive. All right. Yes, sir. We think we'll be looking for Paul and Daniel and these guys to hear their story. They'll meet us first because they want to hear ours. All right. How did you make it in layer the sea? You turn left, it's evil. You yeah. turn right, it's evil. You go forward, it's evil. You go backwards, it's evil. Right. This is an evil age. Your prophet Amen. preached a message entitled, yeah. God of this evil age. Yeah, that's right. It's an evil age. Yeah. Uh, when he preaches the seven seal, uh, the, sorry, the seven uh, church ages, man of God, he says there was no light when he got to Laodicea. Yeah. So God, oh my, God right. used him in the augmented office of Moses. Yeah. <laughs> when, when God wanted to destroy the children of Israel, Moses stood in the gap, he said, no, don't do it. Yeah. Sure. Brother Branham drew the crescent of light. That's right. God augmented him <laughs> to give him that power to draw a crescent of light where there was no light. Amen. 
Amen. This is the message under which we sit. Yeah. All right. I think sometimes we forget how high this message actually is. Amen. Uh, I, I know that, praise God, the church in St. Matthew 18, just to show you that I, I believe this message, I'm completely sold out for it. All right. Because it has Jesus Christ written all over it. Yeah. All right. Come on, brother. The church in Matthew 18, I want you to never undermine the church. Right. Don't ever undermine the church of God. Yes. The church is so powerful that Jesus says to them, Whosoever sins you remit will be remitted. Yeah. Whosoever sins you retain will be retained. Right. That's powerful. All right. And so God takes a William Branham who's a nobody. <laughs> he's not an academic of sorts. Right. He's not a general. He's, he's a nobody. Yeah. And God takes that nobody and lifts him so high for the world to see. Mm -hmm. You know, the power God put in William Branham, mm -hmm. the church is given the power to forgive and, re and, and, and retain sins. That's right. One day the prophet preached and there was a couple in the front smooching. That's right. Mm -hmm. God says to Brother Branham while he's preaching, I give them into your hands. Amen. Imagine one man having the authority that the whole body of Christ has. The only other time I've seen that was Jesus himself. Why? When he says to the Pharisees that you may know that the Son of Man has power to forgive sin. Imagine God saying to a mortal, I give them into your hands. This is the message we believe. I'm so not for this message. So those who are pregnant with other seed, my womb is filled with the seed of Malachi 4. I cannot be impregnated again. My womb is hey! what? what I will give birth to is this message. What? what I will give birth to is the promise and the life that is in this message. I have already been impregnated. What? Praise God. Amen. Come on, preacher. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, he said there will be light in the evening time. Mm. Yes. The reason I love Brother Branham, one of the reasons I, I read his life story and I listened to Owen Jorgensen's uh, narration of it. Yeah. Right? That's right. And uh, there's something Brother Branham says that blows my mind. He says, I'll, I'll preach in a bit. He says, he says, now if the word of God says something, and I say something else, he says, you stick with the Bible. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the assignment of William Branham in a nutshell was to return the authority of the word of God. Ah, the only way we know that the Bible is the word of God is if it manifests what it said. Yes. Amen. Everyone else made it Amen. a philosophical book. Yes. William Branham comes and says, when God says, speak to the mountain, he's not talking about sickness. He said mountain. Yes. And he meant mountain. Yes. God don't play with words. God does not have a lack of vocabulary. What he says is exactly what he means. So when he said you'll say to a mountain be moved, you it's a mountain. Yeah. And if you want to replace the mountain with sickness, it's fine. Yeah. But he said mountain, he meant mountain. Yeah. The prophet of God says it like this: the interpretation is your explanation. Yes. It's the manifestation. Oh! What God meant, he'll manifest. Hallelujah. When he said sons of God, he'll manifest sons of God. Amen. 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 Let me, I need to contain myself. Come on, Amen. Amen. <laughs> Yesterday, this time, I had no voice, Pastor Bless. Yes, I want to thank you for your prayers, those who prayed. Amen. And I, I feel better in the presence of God now. Uh, the prophet says in uh, Greater Than Solomon is here. He says, the scripture never leaves any age without a clear identification that we might know what age we are in. Scripture never leaves any age without a clear identification so that we might know what age we live in. Uh, so the scripture has said that man will be lovers of themselves more than lovers of God. He, he has said that he was put out of the church. People preach that scripture, Revelation 3 verse 20, at open airs to sinners when it was addressed to the church. Right. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. That right. was never said to the world. Right. Right. It was said to the church. Yeah. Amen. So, so Brother Branham tells you in the church ages mm. that it started out as a saying mm. Mm. and then it became a deed. Mm. The deeds of the Nicolaitans, yes. where you had holy men yeah. 
and an unholy laity, a conquered laity, so that you could never be holy. Only your pastor is holy. Only your apostle is holy. Only your evangelist is holy. But the battle says that was never the intent of God. Jesus left. He says it is expedient for me to leave that the comforter might come. Because Jesus, though he was God in flesh, was subject to dimension three. All right. That's right. He couldn't use the power as the son of God. Come on now. Amen. He came in the dispensation of son of man. That's why William Bradham's ministry is so important. St. Luke 17, 30. As it was in the days of Noah. Amen. So shall it be in the days when the son of man is being revealed. Jesus came in the office of son of man. That's why he couldn't do son of God things. He did son of man things. That's right. Amen. So, so this is the point here, Saints of the Living God. Because he's son of man, he's subject to dimension three. If Satan wasn't testing Jesus' ability when he said, turn the stones to bread. You see, we are tempted to lucrative things and beautiful things and nice things. The temptation of Jesus was unto power. If he used power that was not applicable then, he would not qualify as the high priest after the order of Melchizedek. He could not be touched then by the feelings of infirmities. How could he understand what I go through if he cheats? If Jesus used the power of dimension 7 while living in dimension 3, his death would be a waste. Praise God. Come on. He couldn't do that. So the Bible is the complete revelation of Jesus Christ. You see Jesus Christ from Genesis right up to Revelation. It's all about Jesus Christ. And that prophet of mine came and he says, you know what they, they complained about? They said, Brother Branham, you brag too much on Jesus. May God take the church back. We brag on Jesus. Praise God. Hebrews 11, we call it the faith chapter. That's right. There are three characters that I'd like to just identify. Right. And then we'll we'll just move on from there as the Spirit leads us. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Amen. It's the elders. Mm -hmm. It's we. And it's God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 11, 1 says now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Verse 2 shows you the elders now. It says by it the elders obtain the good report. That's right. So you see the elders, right? Verse 3. Through faith we. That's the second category. Come on now. Character now, right? Through faith we understand that the walls are framed by the word of God. So that the things that we the things that were made yeah. were not made are things which do appear yeah. right yeah. so so that's that then verse 3 now it says we understand that the word of god mm. word of god is an identity right mm. right that's right amen it's not it's not it's not phonics no right. sir it's an identity yeah. right it's a person mm. if you have young children you understood what i said when i said phonics mm. praise god yeah. By it, amen, the elders obtained a good report. Here's your contrast. I read the scripture funny when I read Hebrews 11. All right? And this is why. I want us to, to, to bank this in our memory. It says, by faith, Abel. Right. By faith, Enoch. Right. By faith, Noah. By faith, Abraham. When it gets to Sarah, it says, through faith, Sarah obtained strength that she might receive seed. All right, because it has ceased to be with her after the manner of women. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just going to quickly lay this foundation, then we can rejoice in the Lord. Because now, 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 the difference here, saints of God. Mm. Come on, preacher. Come on. Your faith mm. is a revelation. That's yes. right. That's what you are taught by the prophet, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, if faith be a revelation, a revelation of who? Right. Come on now. Yeah, amen. Mm. The, first of all, the word revelation means unveiling, divine disclosure. Yes. Anything divine, hello? 
Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Divine disclosure. Yeah. Yeah. It goes beyond PhDs. Come on. Yeah. Yes, it goes Lord. beyond the upper echelons of the academic world. Yes, Through faith, Sarah received strength. Amen. Even if she had gone to the best gynecologists around in that day, they had no answers. Right. Reminds me of the woman of the issue of blood. 12 years, right. physician in, physician out, specialist in, specialist out, mix. They could find nothing right. until one day through faith. I know. Listen to me, saints of the living God. The Bible says faith comes by. Hearing. So through faith, she had heard about the fellow of Galilee. And now she comes to him. Listen to me, she did not touch him. She touched what touched him. Saints of God, she said to herself, within herself, if I can only touch the hem of his garment, not him. Because God is altogether strong. There is no weakness in God. God is strong from head to toe. From the longest hair on his head to the smallest toe on his foot. That is altogether strength. She merely touched what touched him. Amen. I'm not even saying touch God tonight, man. I'm just saying touch what touches him. That's when you get to through faith. That woman had no scripture to refer to. That's when we talk about the unwritten word. Brother Branham uses funny terms. And people said he used it as an excuse to elevate himself. I beg your pardon. What did the woman with the issue of blood use? That was nothing but the unwritten word. Through faith we understand. Praise God. With the, whether there's a reference or not does not matter. Once we handle with, through faith, it's a different ball game altogether. Yes. We've left the South African PSL by then. We are operating in Bundesliga now. Yeah. 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 I like that. So Jude says in verse 3, he says, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you concerning the common salvation, he says it was needful, it was necessary that I remind you that you have to contend for the faith. What is that faith? It's a God revealing faith. It's a God revealing faith. Listen to me, saints of God. The Bible talks about we all the time. We and them. Paul says in second, not Paul, Peter says, I think it's second Peter 1. He says to them that are obtained like precious faith. Right. It's not our fault. There's exclusive language in the Bible right through. Come on now. Listen to me, God is not fit. I'm, 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 no, it's not a slip of my tongue. God is not fit. And neither is he interested in being fair. God is above faith. God is just. When you were born, that, that within those first te 10 seconds when you said, man, you deserve help. <laughs> the concoction that makes up your flesh was in the lab of Satan. Right. Right. That's right. When the Bible says we are made in the image of God, it's not talking about your flesh. That's right. That's right. That's right. The person who has the patent for your flesh is Satan. Right. Yeah. Yes. 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 David says in sin, did my mother conceive me? God can never conceive anything in sin. For God is perfect. God is pure. And whatsoever is born of God is pure. That's right. Amen. Amen. It is necessary, he says, that you contend for the faith. There may be other faiths, and that's okay. I have no problem with other people having gods. It's fine. They can have their gods. Only thing I'm going to challenge you on is make sure your God carries you, not you carry him. 
They can't walk. Come on. That's why when their houses flood, they have to pick Come their bones up and carry them. But when you go through a flood, the Bible says, when the enemy comes in like a flood, your God is there to look to. That's the God I serve. So Genesis 18, I need to get into this. 18 verse 14, God asked the question because Sarah laughed when God made the promise. Yeah. Sarah laughed, and God says, is there anything then too hard for the Lord? Amen. You know who answers that question? Yes. Jeremiah. Amen. When we say the word comes to the prophet, this is what we mean. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. I said the augmented position of Moses is what Brother Branham is operating in. Yes. Make a note if you're a Bible student. Go read Malachi chapter 4 again, but start from verse 1. You see, before it starts to dissect uh, 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 or, or, or give a dissertation of Brother Branham's assignment as Malachi 4, it says these words, remember my servant Moses. Yeah. All right. I told you God has no shortage of language and vocabulary. Why would he say remember my servant Moses? It was an augmented office in which Moses operated. Amen. Moses was so high. You, you know, you're not hearing me. <laughs> All right. Moses was so high that when Messiah became flesh, of which these people were told that he was coming, when he became flesh, they compared Moses to him. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's Remember right. my servant Moses. Yeah. That's why you have people in the DRC who baptize in the name of Brother Branham. Yeah. Remember my servant Moses. Yeah. Yeah. Even when the word is manifested, they say Moses. And that's fine because if that didn't happen, I would doubt the ministry, Brother Branham says. Mm. Oh, that's right. Amen. All right. Yeah. I got it. Oh, yes, sir. Praise God. Yes, sir. The word of God comes to the prophet. Yeah. So he asks Abraham and Sarah in Genesis 18, is there anything to hard for God? Then Jeremiah answers that question. Mm. 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 Jeremiah says, Lord God, behold, thou hast made heaven and earth by thy great power. Nothing is too difficult for thee. That's Jeremiah 32. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Amen. I like that. Amen. Man, God is ginormous. I'm, I'm trying to find the English word. I can't. God is mind blowing. He's amazing. He's, he's, he's not okay. God is mesmerizing. God is embezzling. Amen. He's too much. I think the Nigerians got that one from me. God is. Too much. <laughs> Remember my servant Moses. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, my God. Pharaoh thought he's fighting Moses. The prophet of God says, if Pharaoh would just know the secret of Moses' power, come on now. Was that stupid stick? <laughs> Pharaoh cursed him with a stick. Come on. But that stick brought the whole of Egypt to its knees. Then the prophet goes on to say that stick is the name of Jesus Yay! Christ restored back to the church. Amen. If Satan only knew that that was the secret of the church's power. It's not just the name. It's the identity Yay! of the church. What? Praise God. And so we are. I see these boys in Daniel chapter 3. Those Hebrew boys. Are we talking about the inability of the omnipotent? On, you'll, you'll see it come together in a moment. I'm just gradually building my case. Daniel chapter 3, these boys find themselves heading for the fiery furnace and, and, and for no doing of evil. They were headed for the fiery furnace because they refused to bow to another god. When the king asks them, but now what are you guys doing? Is it true that you refuse? They say, king, with all due respect, we don't mean to be rude. But we are not even careful how we answer you in this matter. Whether our God deliver us or not, that is not a reflection on his ability. His ability is uncontested. Amen. Yes. 
The ability of God is not in question. But my title is the inability of the omnipotent. Right. <laughs> Those three Hebrew boys sing to the living God. Brother Bram, I preached about it at home uh, uh, a week or so ago. And uh, Brother Bram, when he dramatizes that situation, when, when Wormwood tries to go, he says, man, I am, I've got the right tools for the job. God says, Wormwood, relax, like, this is a man-sized yes. job. <laughs> All right. Amen. Yeah. I know you destroyed the earth with, with water in the end of oh. but this is a man-sized job. Yes, sir. Right. And I want you to notice what God does. Well, when he goes by, he, he, he calls for a thunderbolt. Amen. A thunderhead. Right. Amen. And he takes a zigzag. And he cracks open the sky. He's going down to his three sons because they refuse to bow to another God. God is going himself. Come on. Listen to me. God will put heaven on pause to attend to you. What? That's just by the way, as we, are, as we move along, he will stop the program in heaven to come to you. That's, right. that's what happened in, in Revelation 10. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Come on, that's right. Hey. Yes. Yeah. I hear the Bible is in Revelation 5, it says, and there was Revelation 8 1, pardon me. Hmm. Bible says that there was silence in heaven. Exactly right. <laughs> what happened is he got up off the throne. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah. That's right. There's nobody to worship. Yeah. yeah. He's living the throne. Who's the angel going to say holy to? Yeah. He left the throne. Yeah. yeah. That's right. So their worship came, became quiet. Yeah. Because Jehovah came, behold, the tabernacle of God is with man. Oh, hey. Hallelujah. And there's nothing else to do like David. When he saw the ark come, David went over into worship. It was automatic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. And when he took that seven seal yes, book, praise oh, God, come on, every redeemed son of God began oh. to sing a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. Oh. Yes, to the observer of the three Hebrew boys in their situation, it looked like it was too late. <laughs> But it was right on time. It's exactly what God wanted. Sometimes God will leave it to a point where your strength cannot. Where your mind cannot. Where your money cannot. Listen to me. Abraham, when God comes to him. Abraham, there's a, there's a term we use, Pastor Blessing, as colored people. Abraham, nine, nine, asks God, what can you give me? He's talking to God. Abraham, the, when these very gospels preach the blessing of Abraham, they link it to money and wealth. That's an error. When God found Abraham, Abraham was rich. That's why Abraham says to God, what can you give me? He had already paid all the gynecologists. He had already paid all the artificial insemination clinics. He asks God, what can you give me? Seeing I go childless. God says, Abraham, I'll give you what your money cannot buy. I'll give you seed by Sarah. You have seed by Ishmael or by, by Hagar. I'll give you by Sarah. <laughs> Amen. Preach it, preach it. Amen. Sometimes he'll leave it to the point where you can't. That's what happened to those Hebrew boys. They were not out of the will of God. They were not in the permissive will of God. They were exactly in the perfect will of God. Amen. Praise God. The prophet says, as God goes on that thunderhead, he flies on that cloud, he goes past the tree of life. Pulls off a branch there. He's heading for the fire. Come on now. Hey. He's not going to stop the fire. No, sir. He's not going to quench it. That's why he told Bermu to relax. Yeah. Say rest yeah. of it to rest. <laughs> he he eventually uh, plucked a branch from the tree of life. Yeah. And he gets into their situation and fanned them with the tree of life. Saints of God, working for God on this earth may not pay much, but his retirement plan is out of this world. What God does, nobody can explain. Nobody can comprehend. The Bible says, I has not seen. Neither has it entered the mind of man. What God has in store. Trust God, 
tonight say so. Don't get tired of believing. Keep on believing. Trust and obey. Praise God. Oh my, I need to move quickly. There are things God cannot do. Hey, shoo. Come on yeah. now. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. There are things God cannot do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's omnipotent, which means he's all powerful. Yeah. Exactly so, right. preacher, pray tell, how can you say there are things he cannot do? Mm. We'll take case number one. Mm. God cannot be a respecter of persons. Yeah. Amen. 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 <laughs> the inability of the omnipotent he cannot be a respecter Amen. of persons are you with me Amen. Amen. Yeah. All right. yeah. Glory. my reference I can't find it now but alright I'm referring to Acts chapter 10 that's right Acts chapter 10 <laughs> this is the story Peter is among Gentiles right and when Peter hears that the other Jews are coming, all of a sudden he prays now. Oh, okay. Because the brothers mustn't find him with Gentiles. Yeah, yeah right. Because Jews and Gentiles don't mix because Gentiles are, un they are, they are impure. Right. They are like swine. Mm. Amen? Right. <laughs> I found it. He says, he said unto them, you know how there is un it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company or to come unto another nation. But God had showed me that I should not call any man common or unclean. Therefore, I came unto you without gain, saying, As soon as I was sent for, I asked therefore, for what intent have you sent for me? Saints of God, this is the house of a Gentile that sent for a preacher. Amen. Right, brother, right, brother, right. Come on, right. Yes, Paul sir. says in Romans, How can they believe? If they have not heard, how can they hear if nobody has been sent? Come on now! The power of this pulpit will only be retained and determined by your prayers. Amen. Come on now! If you don't pray for this pulpit, other people will draw from the gift. Sure. I like it. Paul said to them. You count yourself unworthy. Behold, I turn to the Gentiles. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, he says, he says, he says, why have you sent for me? And Cornelius said, four days ago, I was fasting until this hour. And at the ninth hour, I pray in my house. <laughs> Glory! And behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing and said, Cornelius, thy prayer is heard. And the, thine arms are had in remembrance in the sight of God. Send therefore to Joppa. Right. Come on now. Right. The Gentile is sending to Joppa. Right. Sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. And call hither Simon, whose surname is Peter. He is lodged in the house of one Simon, a tanner by the seaside, who when he cometh shall speak unto thee. Immediately therefore I sent to thee, he says to Peter now. And thou hast well done that thou art come. Mm, 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 mm. Saints of the living God, you send for the preacher. Sure. Yeah. Mm. They are called by God. They are placed by God. Right. Their callings have been confirmed. But you send to draw from them. Sure. That's why your prophet keeps telling you, come to church, pray up. Yes, right. Amen. You send to Chopa for the preacher. Sure. Sure. Chopa means calmliness. <laughs> ah! Sure. Comeliness. Chopper means beauty. Right. Oh, no. sure. <laughs> right. Amen. I hear the word of God say, beautiful are the feet of those yeah. who bring the tidings of joy and peace. Sure. What is it that a preacher is bringing but the gospel? Right. Amen. The gospel of peace, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, but right. you sent for that. Sure. Yeah. They are called from Chopper. Sure. Mm. There is no preacher that is empowered by himself. No, sir! And if he is empowered by himself, he's a preacher of famine. Yeah. Come on! That's for another day. Oh, yeah. 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 Amen. The only nutrients in preaching is what his Holy Ghost inspired. And he gave some apostles, prophets, teachers, 
pastors, evangelists. By what? By the self same spirit. The ascending Christ is the descending gifts. By what? By the Holy Ghost. God cannot do it any other way. The inability of the omnipotent. Oh. Are you with me? Give the Lord a hand of praise if you believe it. I'm moving quickly to close. Praise God. Are you enjoying the Lord's saints? Oh, glory to God. My, my, my. This is nothing but a repeat prescription. Exactly. It's my favorite summer of always. <laughs> Amen. We, we don't have seed of our own. Yes, sir. This is my gospel. Yeah. My wife is my witness. I can never preach without quoting this, Pastor Blessing. Yes, sir. You see, when we, when we look at the theocracy and theocratic governments, they had what is called chamberlains. Yeah. Give me 10 minutes, please. Yeah, that's right. Go on. Yeah. A chamberlain was castrated. Mm -hmm. okay. oh. The reason is so that you don't impregnate the queen. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Right. So any preacher who is self-empowered is not, you know for sure he's not a chamberlain. Mm. Oh, you yeah. know for sure he's not a eunuch. Come on now. Hey. Other people can preach their opinion, but in this message, hey. we can only preach that oh, which we have been told. Amen. Praise God. That's why we, we consider ourselves eunuchs. Saints of God, whatever you do, never. Somebody say never. Never. Never subscribe to the gospel of Saint Opinion. I hear preachers walking into pulpits and they say, I have discovered. I don't care what you have discovered, sir. We will see Jesus. That's what we're here for. Come and pray the man. Hey. He would preach a whole sermon. Right. Look at the honesty of this man of God. He says, now you know who I'm waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> when we have that as an example, yeah. we cannot subscribe to the gospel of St. Opinion. Yeah. It's got to be guarded by those four beasts. Yeah. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Come on. What is it? It's those four beasts guarding the book of Acts. Yeah. What is that for the ministry of the Holy oh, Ghost? Yeah. Back in the church. What are they guarding against? Yep. Any opinion. Yeah. Come on. That's why he says, be not tossed about I with any wind of doctrine. Yeah. Because we have been guarded. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. I said, praise God. Let's, let's go. Number two, God cannot heal you. Right. That's right. Okay, exactly right. All right. No, that's right. right. Exactly right. right. That's I right. like it that the church went quiet. Right. Yeah. No, I like it because yeah. it means you're listening. Right. I said exactly yeah. that. God cannot heal it's you. That's right. That's right, sir. Let, let me, let me. Bring it home. Let me accentuate it by quoting the seventh mm. messenger. I'm quoting from the identified masterpiece of God. Mm. Paragraph 132. He says he saved man one time because he repented. Yes. That's the way he will save man again. Amen. He healed one man because he had faith. Mm. He will heal the next one on the same basis. Mm. He never changes his way. Because see, he is sovereign and he's eternal. Right. He's infinite, mm. omnipresent, omniscient. He's God. Mm. And therefore he don't have to ask anybody for wisdom. Mm. He don't have to wait till he learns more. He don't need a new degree. He's perfect. And whatever degree and whatever thing he makes first, his first decision remains the same forever. It can never be changed. Yeah. Yeah. If he healed one man by what? Because of what? Faith. faith. He's got to heal the next man because of faith. Amen. God cannot heal you. Sure. And I'll tell you why he cannot heal you. Yeah. He uttered these words. It is finished. Yeah. Yes. The problem we have is we preach healing as a promise. Uh, healing is not a promise. It's a, it's a done deal. Oh, it's an accomplished fact. Oh, By his Christ, oh, you yeah. are healed. Yes. Listen to me, there's an ED there. Yes, yes. And simple English tells you ED puts it in the past. Yes. He's not going to come back and heal you again. Okay? Oh, 
This is what the prophet says in another place. If God himself was here with this color jacket, amen, and this mic in his hand, he would not heal you, brother Jethro. He'll tell you, I cannot heal you. Say what? Yes, sir. That's the word. Cannot. Yes. The inability of the omnipotent. Oh, I cannot heal you because I have already done it. You are the healed that the devil is trying to make sick. You are not the sick that God is trying to make well. You have been healed. Whether your body knows it or not, you will be healed. Believe us now this. When he gets to the grave of Lazarus, praise God, John 11. They say, Master, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. He says, man, your brother shall live again. Yes, and I, I bless Martha because she was a student of the word. She says, Lord, I know in the resurrection, she's a student of the word. Jesus says, you don't understand, my dear. I am the resurrection. We're not going to wait for my day. I'm here now. Then she, like John, the book of Revelation, praise God comes up higher. Mm. And once she's lifted higher, she says, yes, Lord, even now. Even after four days in the grave, you can do it. Why? Before Abraham was, I am. Praise be to God. Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, it's an established fact. Man. That's right, brother. You don't stumble into the message, child of God. Listen to me. You don't stumble into the message. The steps of the righteous are ordained. They are ordered of the Lord. David says, order my steps in your word that iniquity might not overpower me. When everybody else says iniquity is normal, the pride of Christ says, I'm not happy with that. I don't want to accept the status quo. Iniquity will not rule over me, so order my steps. You're not in the message by accident. Because your steps have been meticulously calculated by God. Amen. I'm not gonna, uh, I want to quote Brother Beckett. But you know, he says, he says, your birth yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah, is an even bigger miracle than the birth of Jesus. That's right. So, what? Yeah. Yeah. so God preserves you through eons and generations of time. Because he has to prove his word by you. God cannot heal you. God cannot save you. Powerful. Because he's already done it. Amen. Believe us all this. Amen. Let's move to closing. So Hebrews 6 says, By two immutable things, in which it is impossible to, for God to lie, we might have strong consolation, right? And then we lay hold of the hope that is set before us, which hope we have as an anchor for the soul. What is that hope? He cannot change. He cannot lie. Listen, God has given himself an identity. But the Bible says it like this. He says, when I looked at the messengers to each age, I got to them using the key that God gave me to unlock the scriptures. That's right. That's right, brother. A great Come on seven. Now. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Listen to me. The prophet of God says, that's the key of the Bible. Amen. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 8. Amen. Is that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let me tell you something. I don't care how long your problem lasts. It cannot be the same yesterday. It will come to pass. If your problem can be the same yesterday, today, and forever, it has become God. But there can be only one God. And to the only wise God. The only true and loving God be power and dominion both now and forever. He is God. Let me say in Afrikaans, Brother Ezra. Come on, come on. 
Come he on. says, "Expired it." Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine God saying, "Expired it"? Yeah. He says, "I swear." Amen. Amen. Heaven and earth will pass away before I lie. If I said I am the same yesterday, not we. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's God. Oh, I want you to go back home and tell that problem that you have that nobody else knows about. Come on! So why are you too ashamed to confess? Tell it, you've been pestering me for nine years. Right. No more. Amen. You cannot be the same Amen. yesterday to right. Praise Amen. God. Yeah. Amen. You don't stray into this message, man. God has ordered your steps to be in this message. Other people ridiculed it. They made YouTube videos about it. They say he wasn't where the crowd was. I say, all right, you are right, sir. <laughs> That's fine. I'll tell you what happened, though. Yeah. There's a spin-off from the club. Right. That's right. That's right. right. <laughs> Wherever God is, there's a spin-off. Right. Yes. If you walk in rain, you most probably going to get a bit. Right. So if you're in the vicinity of the presence of God, even you might find something. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Jesus says, both the weeds and the trees rejoice for the rain. Yes. That's right. It's the spin-offs of his presence. Yeah. So let's see what the man was in the yeah. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> then explain, sir, this is the time in December to me. Sure. Right. Right. Sure. There's no coincidence with God. Yes. I call it yes. God incidents. Yes. 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 Sure. Well, the brother stands there, he says, could it be this? Mm. Could it be that? Mm. Isn't it? Yes. He's not sure himself. Amen. Right. <laughs> right. So God refused to leave his prophet in uncertainty. Yeah. And what God does, he gives him a mini rapture. Mm. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. He was 320 kilometers away from the cloud. Yeah. I, you know what, sir, Mr. Skeptic? You just made it a bigger miracle. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was over 300 k's away from the cloud. And God still pulled him up into the cloud. Amen. Because Amen. the church of God can never be established on uncertainty. Oh. So God made Brother Branham sure. I'm getting excited now. Oh, yeah. Man, he moves him beyond. Could it be this? Could it be that? He takes him into that constellation, looks him in the face, says, It is that. What is it? It's Jehovah God that had come to lead his church again. It's the headship of Christ back in the church. No man. No woman will lead the church of God. God himself is there. Hallelujah. The prophet says when that real vindicated word comes and is made true before you, he can't say that no if it God. didn't happen to him. Oh, oh, glory. He made the prophecy in 1962. And that word was made, it's a vindicated word. Exactly that right. picture shows you the vindication. That's right, that's right. Amen. Yes, yes. That's the vindication. All right? Amen. Then that vindicator word had to be made real to him. Yeah. Hello. Sure. So God takes him up into the constellation. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful. Sure. Wonderful. What is it, saints of God? It's a, genu it's a genuine adding word to word to word to word. Just like if you're going to make a dog, it's going to be dog cell upon dog cell upon dog cell until it becomes a full grown dog. So the bride of Christ is word cell upon word cell upon word cell until she comes to the fullness of the stature of the word. And we are close. The real bride is part of him. And what is he but the word? In the beginning was the word. Amen. Hallelujah. My God is big <laughs> Amen. Listen to me. When the word got there, it found God there. Yeah, 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 yeah. When the beginning got there, it found God there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Listen, it says in the beginning, God. When the beginning came, God was there. He was risen. God is too much, man. Amen. And then check what the first expression of God is the word. We read the quote. The quote says, Amen, praise God. The word of God is the identity of God. That's right. It's who he is. You can't separate the two. So all that he did was give expression to himself. Doesn't even make sense. What says before God was God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said I'm closing. <laughs> the first expression God gives to himself is what? The word. Mm -hmm. And Brother says, I can see that Logos skipping in front of the Father. Yeah. <laughs> Jumping up and down like a little boy yeah. playing in front of his Father. Yeah. Who is Why? Jesus but the Logos? Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's the first expression God gave to himself. Amen. Now let me bring your mind back because I refer to a quote. Praise God. Mm. Uh, uh, <laughs> The first expression is the word. All right? He says, In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. And the word was made flesh. Mm -hmm. And we beheld him. And his glory is of the only begotten of the Father. That's what John says. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. That's who the word is. Mm -hmm. And if the bride is going to be part of him, Pastor Blessing, I'm sorry, I'm done. Give me three minutes. Mm -hmm. If the bride is going to be part of him, if she's born out of him, she has to be word. Exactly right. Amen. The inability of the omnipotent is he cannot operate outside of that scope. Exactly right. He restricted himself. Listen to me. He doesn't take Adam's domain from him when Adam falls. No, that's right. That's right. That's right. You know what? You know what bound him? His word. Amen. He says, I'll be God of the heavens, you be God of the earth. Then the God of the earth falls. Only thing he does, he takes the title deed before Satan gets hold of it. But he doesn't take his domain. Because his word had dictated that Adam would be the God of the earth. That's why Saints of the Living God, when you see them saying banquet pools and, and, and so on and so on, that animal is angry at you. Yeah. Right. Right. Sure. That's the problem they have with the pit bulls. They just get angry for no reason. <laughs> there's not no reason in his innermost being he knows there's something like a son of God yes. the reason a lion is chasing you he's angry at you he's saying come on man yes. I'm waiting for the manifestation get with the program come on you are here <laughs> yeah. Jeremiah 33 verse 20 <laughs> you can make a note of thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry. Amen. Jeremiah 33 20. The prophet Jeremiah says, Thus saith the Lord, if you can get it right to make the sun and the moon swap their roles. Mm -hmm. He says that there should not be day in its season and night in its season. Mm -hmm. He says if you can get it right to get those things to swap their roles, in other words, the moon comes up in the morning and the sun comes up in the night, mm -hmm. then you have reason to doubt my word. Sure. <laughs> he says then you can question my covenant. Mm -hmm. The son has been in his position for over how many years? Yay! He's never missed a day. Sometimes he comes late. <laughs> Sometimes, amen, he comes late, isn't it? In winter, for example, he comes later than normal, but he comes. Sometimes he comes and we can't see him because he's behind the cross while he's there. It's like that kite saying to the living God, that boy is pulling a string. Nobody can see. Why? The kite is beyond the clouds. Yes, sir. Say, Young man, what are you doing? I'm, I'm pulling my kite. Say, where is it? He says, it's up there. He says, how do you know? I feel the pull. <laughs> if you can get it right for the sun and the moon to change their roles, then you can doubt God. The inability of God is as follows. He cannot lie. He cannot change. He cannot.
cannot lose. Hallelujah. He cannot be wrong. Hallelujah. He cannot reevaluate. Yes. He cannot review. Yes. What he said the first time Hallelujah. will be good enough every time. Yes. It will be good enough all the time. Yes. If it was good for Paul and Silas, give it to me. Yes. If it was good for Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, I want that. of God. He said I will raise up a bride. She will not have spots. She will not have wrinkles. I will prove my word by her. That's a point. But the Bible says in this day God is going to prove his word by his bride. The problem is it's already said. Ability of God is once he has said it, he can't say let's stop extent. He can't say let's backspace that. He said he's gonna prove his word by you. He's gonna do it. In fact, let me rephrase. He's busy doing it. When a woman is pregnant, when she's about to give birth, listen to me. Before about to give birth. You see her from the second trimester or so. But in the first trimester there are things happening in her that she doesn't understand. Sure, 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 sure. The things she used to like. Hey. She like them no more. Sure. Hey. <laughs> All of a sudden she starts eating rocks. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You know? All right. What is happening? There's something inside of her that's busy changing, that's busy shaping, that's busy growing. Pride of Christ. There comes a point when you receive the word, then you conceive the word, and after conceiving, change is unstoppable. It's immaterial how you feel. Oh Lord, I'm not worthy. The baby is dead. the toilet more than you used to. You change your diet involuntarily. That's what happens when a child of God has taken in the seed of God. Her desires change. Oh my, your diet changes. You can't take gold anymore. You can't take bitterness anymore. But the Bible says right before she gives birth, she becomes sweet. There's a sweetness around her. Then I hear him say, praise God. He says, let your life thunder. With sweetness and meekness. Why? We're about to give birth to the Son of God. with this man the following morning I was going to preach on symbiotic omnipotence. Yeah. 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 I was going to preach on symbiotic omnipotence. Yeah. That was yeah. wonderful. Let us bow our heads and raise our hands. Yeah. I feel like preaching but I'm gonna hold my horses. Come on, no, no. Praise the Lord. This was too beautiful. This was, this was the diet for the bride. This is what we need in the end time. God cannot lie. Praise. You are Alpha. Let's raise our hand, let's worship you. 
worship for a while. Let's worship you for a while. Lord, we say thank you for my You made us heirs to the promises. We are so thankful, Father. We give you the glory. Holy name. Thank you for what you made us to be. Thank you for choosing us. Thank you, God, that you revealed this divine secret to us. We are so thankful, Lord. Bless Brother Jonathan that is so able to minister tonight. May your power, oh God, rest upon him and pray, Lord. May you bless his wife. Bless the church, oh God. Bless everything that he does, oh God. Let him prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. We are so thankful tonight. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. You are worthy to be praised. We love you, oh God. We adore you, Father. We are so grateful. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Every head bowed, every eye closed. We've come to the end of the meeting. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm going to ask Brother Alpha to come forward and wrap in prayer. Amen. In this atmosphere, all things are possible. Amen. All things are possible. Amen. Amen. Nothing is impossible with Amen. God. The atmosphere is right. You can raise your hand and say, Lord. Me is your Lord standing in need of prayer. Yes. Recognize the inability of his omnipotence. <laughs> Praise God. Let's close our eyes, brother. Alpha. God bless you. That dear God of Father, you are more than willing, O oh God of Father, to see us, O oh God of Father, walking and stepping, O oh Father, into that vision of the Lord, of the bride, O oh God of Father. Lord Jesus, we pray that dear God of Father, in this hour, may you help us, Lord, yes, to Lord. condemn for the faith, to condemn for that same faith, O oh God, to condemn, O oh Father, Lord, for that same spirit, O oh God, to condemn for the same anointing, O oh God of Father, to condemn, to dear Lord of Father, Lord of oh God, for that vision of the Lord of the bride, O oh God, that Lord, my God, O oh Father, we can be the true reflection of the word. Father, I want to thank you, Lord of God, this evening, O oh God. For we now, O oh Father, see that, dear God, O oh Father, all things are possible, Lord of oh God. There is nothing, O oh God, O oh Father, Lord, that can actually be impossible for you, O oh God, O oh Father. There is nothing, O oh God, O oh Father, that yes, cannot be, O oh God, O oh Father. For you have already done it, O oh God. You, my Lord and Savior, I pray that, dear Father, those that have problems, O oh God, O oh Father, may you grant them favor, that they can see, O oh Father, Lord, and they finish business, O oh Father, Lord, and they can see, dear God, O oh Father, they finish work, Lord, O oh God. Father, we pray, my Lord and Savior, yes. for our precious brother, O oh God, whom you have used mightily, O oh God, O oh Father, my dear Lord, I pray, O oh God, that may you restore strength, O oh Father, may you restore the vision, O oh God, may you restore unto you, O Father, everything, O oh God, that is lost, O oh Father, in the preparation, O oh God, and the preaching of the word, O oh God, and may you bless his ministry, O oh God, bless the family, O oh God, O oh Father, may you bless them, O oh Father, the body, O oh God, yes, Lord. that if there is a tomorrow, O oh God, we pray that dear Father, Lord, and may you bring forth, O oh God, and the good tidings, O oh Father, Lord, and the children of God, O oh Father, Father, one, we thank you, Lord, O oh God, O oh yes. Father, for our precious person, my Lord, I pray, dear God, O oh Father, a special blessing upon his life, O oh God, and we pray that dear Father, Lord, and you are the one above us, O God of Father. You are the one that gives me, Father, the inspiration of Father. We thank you, Father, Lord, for the vital means of God of Father. We thank you, Lord of God, for the inspiration of Father that you place upon him, O God of Father, for the perfection and edification of the saints, Lord of God. And Father, we 
we pray that dear father yes you shall be living over for tomorrow lord of god and may you grant him favor may you grant him mercy for the lord and traveling grace until they come back over the lord yes. may you anoint him for the lord of god yes. with the anointing of the holy spirit that dear god father he can bring forth of god and the oracles of god lord of father yes. we pray that dear father lord of god and let it not be your God, Father, men's wisdom, O Father. But dear Father, we pray that dear Father, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit speak, O Father, and the way that we make man of so God, that Lord can say, O God, you are walking again on this way, and both of us, O Lord. We just want to see you, O God. We just want to see Jesus in every moment, O God. We just want to go with you wherever we go, O Father. We just need you, O God, in our families, O God. We need you, Father, in our lives, O God. We need you, O God, O Father, Lord. And my dear Lord, O God, we pray for the Lord, O Father, for your saints, Lord, O God. God, we know every rich of Father. This festive season, O oh God, and we pray for the Lord of oh God for traveling mercies for everyone, O oh God, that shall be traveling, O oh God, O oh Father. We pray for protection for the Lord, and for we know it contains some demons, O oh Father, that are roaring and roaming the earth, O oh Father, trying to destroy and bring off the Lord of oh God in the end of our joy. But it's here, Lord of oh Father, we claim, O oh God, Father, Lord, and the help and safety of the Lord for all the believers, O oh God, and in the blessed name of the Lord, and the Jesus of the Lord, and my Lord and my Savior, we know that you, O Father, we have reached the end of this season. Lord of God, we need to follow me, be our guide yes, and be our leader of the Lord. Yes, we need to speak of the Lord in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. We pray, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you, saints. You may take your seats. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. How many appreciate Brother Jonathan? Wow, he spoke so well. Amen. That was a masterpiece. Amen. You know, I wish I was taking him to Namibia with <laughs> so that we can preach together. Amen. But I'm really grateful, Brother Jonathan. God bless you. Amen. You know, there is, um, there is something that Brother Beckett said um, <laughs> that, um, uh, you know, there is a, a special blessing upon uh, the young ministers that God is raising. Amen. And uh, we, are not, we are not here to throw stones. Amen. We are not here to preach against other pastors. Amen. But we are here to, to echo back what the prophet has said. Amen. Amen. So God bless you, Brother Jonathan. Let's give him a round of applause. Amen. I like it when he says there is no problem. That is the same yesterday, today, and forever.